Look now at DFW International Airport this morning. Things expected to pick back up today as thousands of travelers head back home from holiday celebrations. Our Natalie Haddad is live inside of Dallas Love Field where we saw quite a few delays for Southwest Airlines this weekend. And Natalie, I know that makes a lot of people pretty nervous after what happened last holiday season. So how are things looking this morning? Hey, good morning to you, Morgan. Things are looking so much better than they did this time last year. You know, last year there were more than 2 million people across the U.S. stranded, all thanks to that Southwest Airlines software meltdown. Even people here in DFW were stuck for several days uh, just trying to get home, people trying to get back to Dallas. But thankfully, conditions are looking much better than they were. Now, the flight board is showing a couple of delays, but nothing too severe. But what is worth the mention is how much busier it is here in the airport. Stepping aside, we have people checking in their bags. And just a few moments ago, the line was really up to about where we're standing right now. Looking on the other side, uh, off camera, pre-check and security, uh, the line is long, but thankfully the TSA pre-check line is still showing a less than four minutes. The line is moving quickly, but it is still quite long. But take a look at these numbers. On Saturday and Sunday, Southwest canceled 426 flights and delayed 2,000 689 flights. And while that sounds like a lot, it still doesn't even compare to last year. Now, 2% of the airline's flights were canceled on Monday. That was Christmas Day. And 16% were delayed, which, according to FlightAware, totals to 693 flights total. Now, most issues were to our north, not necessarily here in Texas. A Southwest spokesperson blamed issues on dense fog in Chicago on Saturday and Sunday that prevented planes from landing. And, of course, we all know the ripple effect of of that, especially at a major airport like Chicago's. Now, Southwest was the only major airline over the weekend to have any issues, but it is clearing up quickly and definitely at a much faster pace than what we saw this time last year.